In today's video, I'll show you how you'd be able to use initiatives on Linear. So let's get started. So first is that you want to go here into your Linear dashboard. Once you're here, you want to click on your workspace name right here in the top left and click on settings. Once you're here, navigate into the left menu where you'd be able to see the initiatives under features. And in here, you would need to enable it first because by default, it is disabled. And uh, from here is where you'd be able to have this more options right here. And basically, if you don't know what initiative does, initiative group multiple projects that contribute toward the same strategic effort. Use initiatives to plan and coordinate larger streams of work and monitor their progress at scale. Or if you are managing larger goals in linear, like feature launches, team objectives, or quarterly outcomes, initiatives are what you are looking for. So now let's go back into the app. And from here, we should now be able to see the initiatives option or section here under workspace. And now you can click here and create new initiative. And let's say that I'm going to go for a, um, I'm going to go for, um, I'm going to go for a meeting or actually even better is that I'm going to go for the accessory launch for the um, a water bottle, let's say something like that. So we're selling accessories for the product, which is the water bottle. And I'm going to click here on create once you have added the summary and then target date and then the owner or the assignee for this specific initiative, if you'd want to. So I don't want that. So I'm going to click here and create. And now in here is that you could now see here, you could edit the owner, the target, or when you would want to set a deadline for this the initiative health so in here is that you could go click here on new initiative update on how well you're doing with this initiative so let's say that um, uh, planning or roadmap or um, roadmap is done for the completion of this launch say something like that you could also add some photos right here if you'd want to you can click here on this clip icon once you're done click on post update and then you will now be able to see this right here and then they would be able to leave a reply or a comment to this initiative or this update that you have posted here on this initiative and in here is that you could always click here on new initiative if you'd want to if you'd want to add another one and then you could also go for plant right here for the initiatives and then completed right here. So this is where you'd be able to keep it organized right here. Now, what if you are done with an initiative right here? Then you can just simply click on that initiative. And from here, you can see the properties. So in here, you can click here on this status um, icon or button, whatever you may call it. And from here, you can go and put it in the plant active or completed. So if you have completed this initiative, just simply click on completed. And then once you are done with everything that you'd need to edit, you could also add some other options right here, by the way. You could also add this project to an initiative and so on. And yeah, let's say that we are done. We just needed to update this status. So now we can go back. And from here, you'd now be able to see that it's not on the active section anymore. Instead, it will now be here in the completed. So yeah, this is a short basic guide on how you'd be able to use initiatives in linear. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.